I'm Chinese and I'm not a virus. My name is Bianca Chow and I am the head of consulting at Hummingbird Humanity. I get to help people like you and me feel fully seen in their workplaces. I'm a daughter of Chinese immigrants. And this means I know how to dance the messy tango of being fully Chinese and fully American. This means I'm constantly reconciling the ideal self of being fully Chinese, being a doctor, a lawyer, or an engineer, and giving my parents lots of grandkids. And I reconcile that with being fully self, pursuing a path that aligns with my passion. It's an interesting dance. So cut to 2020, we're in the middle of a global pandemic and the stigma of being Chinese American is reinforced. Again, I don't fit, I'm an other, I'm not enough. I'm a perpetual foreigner. I have an honest conversation with myself. I'm a DEI practitioner. I should be able to fix this, but I can't. And in the darkness, I have an honest conversation with myself. And I say, I'm not okay. Which if you know anything about Asian culture, my family, it's not okay to say, I'm not okay. So this is what I would call a crisis. And in that moment, I have three light bulb moments. I have a crisis of identity. As someone who finds her significance and her work, I quit my job in the middle of a pandemic and I have no idea what I'm going to do. I have a crisis of health. For the first time, I reach out for help and I look for community. Talking about mental health is not normal, but the bravest thing I could do was think about my brain and my mental health the same day, same way I would think about a broken leg. And so I got help. And this third light bulb moment, I had a crisis of confidence. I grappled with how I would get my life back together, what I would do next, and how I would find joy again. I share all of this because it led to a season of dreaming, brainstorming, doing part-time jobs, really being open and learning how to sit in the discomfort of the unknown. Until one day, I jump off a cliff. I take a role as a head of consulting with a friend's startup company. It's nothing I've ever thought about before. It's not anything I've ever done before. But I figure, why not? I choose each day to talk about my mental health and to share the painful parts of my lived experience and my honest truth. And this is what I get paid for. It helps me connect with others. It helps me build bridges. Who would have thought that the second chapter born out of a global pandemic and my own personal mental health reckoning would lead to the perfect intersection of my purpose and what I get to do for work. So today, I'm a consultant. I work with organizations all the time. I empower other women and other communities of color. My lived experience is what helps me connect with people. And it's the value that I bring. It's not just my disability. It's not just something that's ugly and scary about me. If you want to dream together and you want to help your organization along on its DEI journey, I would love to chat more with you. How can I help you build bridges of trust in your workplace?